out of New York. And Jeff Jarvis, why did you come up with this middle finger salute to Washington? Uh, it was the Pino Norris talking, Howie. Uh, I watched uh, the TV news. I got mad. I went to Twitter, and Twitter is invented for offloading your chest. And I just said, it's our money, it's our economy, at the Washington. And people started responding. And so then I go to the other camp, rather how it would be a like if someone came in and said, well, no, you should make that a hashtag. And I did. And as of now, a week later, there are 99,000 tweets uh, with the network news coverage. I think there is a lot of anger and disappointment in the government and what's going on right now. You know, some people got mad at me and said you should have been specific and said that you GOP or Congress or what. But the fact that it was um, a blank slate allowed people to come in and say why they were upset. SD Washington for this or for that. For that money, Mary, who I want. Who's taking my parents nervous about what they can do their bills next month. And so on and so on. It brought out that anger, that disappointment, which also means it brought out ice and not only it didn't get into the weeds, so to speak, of this faction or this politician is to blame on the dead men, and in fact tapped into uh, broader emotions about all the things that people don't like about this dysfunctional government or a government that doesn't do what they want here in D.C. Yeah, it wasn't about what I have in media or my government or my class. And I think that's an incredibly important thing. You know, I want to be very clear. I hardly think that this is anything approaching a revolution. It was a little weekend mark. It's not career square. But every government on earth should be aware now that their people now have a voice. And the people on Twitter went around the censor. What was happening in the Arab Spring. It all is of a piece that the people now have the opportunity to speak to the world. What would you have to <laughs> well, I don't want to know. <laughs> Not on the air, probably. Uh, well, look, it was President Obama when he asked people to uh, communicate with folks on Capitol Hill and said, send emails, tweet. So even the White House recognizes the importance of Twitter. But some people say that by, you know, uh, using the importance of the media and making the hashtag, you're know, being kind of juvenile. You're taking a really serious subject and kind of just producing it to a dirty word. Thing. I think it's appropriate. I think that uh, the reason I fought the FCC on their censorship of the broadcast airwaves is that BS is political speech. There is no better word to describe what they're running politics than that. But it's chilled speech. I think it's very appropriate. The phrase itself, of course, is silly. The juvenile, sure, guilty. But it brings out which uh, Twitter has become a sort of alternative message delivery system, not just for journalists and celebrities who are on it, but for people like you and ordinary folks. I had a student the other day that said,
for a people involved, or especially a, a young woman, that uh, we did not lose uh, the others until we were certain of the fact that they were yeah. frustrated by the fact that nobody was going to That's always, yeah, sure. I mean, that's absolutely absurd. And it's all into voters, and it goes to the character of the people who are in the other cities. So you can see that we are going to go earlier to uh, either minimize or to take the system away from it. The Stanford University was counseled the women in the system. I learned that ABC is getting out of the checkbook journalism business. 
under pressure from anchors like Chris Cuomo, who did the Broussard interview, as he and I discussed on this program, the network is now banning such payments, except perhaps in an extraordinary circumstance. Spokesman for ABC News President Ben Sherwood says the payments have become a crutch. Will the other networks, particularly NBC, follow suit or score more exclusives with ABC out of the pay-to-play game? Okay, you put that down. Okay, well, let me, let me 
And we are breaking away from that interview with Senator Mitch McConnell to listen to the Senate Majority Leader, uh, Harry Reid. Actions are moving so quickly today. Let's listen to what he says about the vote, the upcoming vote. We're asking about your strategy for how a troop would draw down in Afghanistan would affect them. No, they asked whether they would be paid for Republicans forced the United States government to stop paying its bills. The reason that it's been watched by environment and played by suicide bombers this month, they wondered how they would take care of the families if their checks stopped coming next month. Let me read a little bit of that tonight press story that came out yesterday. Quote, half a world away from the Capitol, Capitol Hill deadlock, the economy is at heart of the hotel that might have troops in Afghanistan. And the top question on their mind is that the evening's bombing brought the city around them is one of the top United States military officers who couldn't answer it.
Bluetooth.com. Closed captioning brought to you by Franklin Templeton Investments. A global leader in investment management for 60 years. Franklin Templeton Investments. Game from our perspective. Okay. I've made an accommodation. We're taking a, a look at a picture of the Senate floor. Senator Ben Cardin of Maryland is speaking right now. We just heard uh, from the Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid, who told us that he believes they are close to an agreement, which is something that uh, Senator Mitch McConnell told us earlier today. I'd like to play for you now, while we're waiting to hear from Senator Mitch McConnell on the Senate floor, uh, something that Dean Sperling, the director of the National Economic Council, <laughs> Thanks for being with us this morning. I know you're working around the clock here. Well, you just heard Senator Mitch McConnell, who was talking about $3 trillion deals and absolutely no revenue as a part of it. Is that the deal you're working on? Well, uh, it's not going to surprise you that I'm not going to negotiate okay. uh, here.